some suggestions in here and I wanted to share with you how I am making the clouds for this really beautiful simple uh, sympathy card. So let's get started. I like to use blue for my clouds the, for the sky um, and I'm using two brushes. It doesn't matter. Um, this is more like a mop brush and this is more of a round brush but um, any any one will work and um, let me show you. So I'm going to start with this is ultramarine right here on my palette and I'm just going to put some right here and then because I don't want it so um, blue I'm actually going to add some of this cerulean blue which just will tone down this blue and make for a really pretty sky. All right so and then I just like to kind of brush one way direction makes a big difference and water makes a difference because if you go back and forth all over um like the water will record your brush strokes and i don't want that so i'm doing a very loose and fluid wash this is what i would call a wash okay so i got i got a pretty good nice um sky going on i'm going to add a little bit more blue and now i'm just going to dot in because clouds are mostly liquid, right? So you want a lot of water because you're making, you're, you're painting a sky. And I just kind of, wherever I think I need a little bit more blue. All right. Now what I can do is, I just love the mixing colors. That looks like a pretty sky right now, but I'm going to make it look a little bit even. You're going to be able to see the clouds at this point and what I like to do and this is then called negative painting I take a tissue and I might even just kind of let the water run a little bit I don't want this pooling of water right here and I don't want a pooling of water right here so I'm gonna take that out okay now I'm gonna fold my my paper towel I'm just going to twist it a little bit, I guess it's, and then I don't want a whole lot, but I want a little bit. So then where I want clouds to be at is kind of where, and I, I like to do kind of like, I guess like one, not in the middle, but down a little bit, one up a little bit. And then like, it's kind of like a triangle, kind of like when you're composing flowers or something, you want them to have kind of this triangle feeling and that is how I get my cards and I might actually now at this point I might just make some puffy clouds like right here maybe right there because there's already some white um, and what will happen is this, it will dry and it won't look so stark and it's really really it'll look very pretty and it will look like this all right so that's how that's done now what Good. I might do a little bit more down here. Sometimes with watercolor paper, you have to um, stamp it more than once, especially with Argan Ink. That looks good. I'm going to call that good. I'm going to leave this stamp here because I might make a couple more like this, and that's really pretty. I like this setup. So I'm going to let that be. And now I can take my birds. And wherever I think I want my birds at, is where I'm going to put it. So what I like to do is not actually use my Misty for the birds, but I like to um, cluster them. So what I did was I used <laughs> these three and I started just right here. Just like that. And then it doesn't really matter. I mean, you do whatever you want to do. I, I always like to just kind of fill in with the birds how, wherever I think. And then I got these birds ready to go. They're, these This stamp set's really fun to add birds to. And then I'm just going to, I just added them. 
and then I twist it a little bit so I don't want the birds to look like they're all flying in the same direction. See that? And then I did a little bit over here. I think I did something like that. There we go. Okay. It might look like the birds are upside down because they are, but that's okay. Um, we'll learn next time not to do that. Um, and whoever gets the card probably won't notice. Um, all right. So, <laughs> so there's that sometimes. All right. Now I could go in and start painting the sky. Let me paint the sky again. I'll show you a different method of how I like to paint skies. So then you get two ideas on how to paint skies for your cards really easily. I'm still taking my ultramarine blue and ultramarine blue has this really beautiful um, granulation effect and that's why I like to use ultramarine blue because it gives it just a little bit more texture and then my cerulean all right now I'm just going to paint one direction one way the clouds are going one way right they don't usually go like East and west, they usually, you know, they go one way. Um, all right, now I'm going to take my paper towel that I've been using and I'm just going to kind of blot it out wherever I think. And then, what, what I like to do then is go back in once it's dried and um, add more blue. <laughs> All right, so then you just keep adding water wherever you think you might want white at. And at this point, I'm going to let it dry. I might come back in and add some blues here, but I like it. And then to finish off this card, all I did was, because I wanted to keep it pretty simple, I matted it with black cardstock, and then I and then I put it on a, on a base, and then I can write my my note here to my friend or to my family. So um, there you go. I hope this helps you make some really simple cards that took not very long to make. And here, here is it's almost dry, but you can see the you can see how beautiful the sky looks just by adding those two colors and letting the colors mix and mingle. And it's going to be beautiful. It'll look beautiful, stamped and ready to go. So. Um, Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. If you like this tutorial, please um, thumbs up, like it, subscribe to my channel. I try to post once a week during the summer. I'm hoping to post more during the school year. I have three kids at home and my house is always loud and so it's hard to, to post too many videos, but this one I wanted to share with you. So um, there you go, skies. It's not as hard as it looks and you can really and hours just painting the sky and finding different ways to paint it. So I have fun with it. I hope you do too. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.